Hello friends, when we create an object, we normally move it around and we scale it and sometimes we go into the component mode like this. That's the normal modeling process. However, there are modifications possible which make the tools really rich and that's part of a rich software package like Maya. So let's create a new scene and let me show you what I want to show you. Let's create a soccer ball. It's right here, right mouse click, soccer ball. We'll smooth this in order to have more fun with modifying. And you go to mesh and uh, smooth is right here. And you have smoothing steps here. This is the division one. Let's uh, put in three here. So we have a high res soccer ball. Let's select a vertex now. Right mouse click vertex and select for example that one. Need to be sure that we don't select one at the back so we control uh, uh, and select those. So we have just this one selected. Now I want this one to poke out uh, directly from that position here. Uh, of course I can use the translate tools and go like this. Very bad. Better. Even better. Sort of something like that. And then my customer asks me, let it poke out much further. Then I'm back in the same process. Oops, stuck like this maybe. Okay, too complicated. Let's do that simpler. And you probably shout extrude. Yes, you're right. The extrude icon is right here. And the extrude does that perfectly all right with a width and the length and divisions even here. But we don't want to do that because of we want to get to know the uh, normals here and the soft modica modification tool, which is a different tool to the extrusion. It actually keeps the geometry intact, uh, whereas the extrude adds more points to the whole selection, which is perfect in most cases. But uh, we have this selected here and now um, we uh, have the translate tool and you see the arrows are in the world like up, right and back and forth. That's the world axis as it's called. Now let's double click this icon. This is the translate icon. And in the translate tool settings here you have, it's called the move tool actually, uh, you have axis orientation and it's set to world. Now let's set it to normal instead. Here is normal. And you immediately see that it uh, has U and V, that is the orientation on that surface, and N is the normal, which means rectangular sticking out. So we just move this and we get what we want. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. It has to do with the axes in Maya and Maya offers you several axes how to look at things and manipulate things. Since we visited by double clicking the tool settings of the move normal tool in this case now, we go further down here in this tool settings box here a window and what we see is soft selection. Let's open this section. Soft selection tells you, and it currently is not activated, that's why this doesn't make sense currently, tells you or offers you the pos possibility to make a selection soft. So um, we'll undo this here. So we're still here. And now we check this box here, soft select. Uh, instead of selecting that box we could also press the key B so you don't have to access this submenu here but this is where the key uh, part of this tool is. Now you see uh, the colors working according to that ramp. Yellow is the area close to our manipulator 
red is a little bit further away and black is where it ends and back there nothing will happen anyway so when we do this motion now this translation here we get this influence here by the way this soft modica modification tool is available in other manipulation uh, tools as well like uh, in the scaling tool you can try this out later uh, now um, let's undo this and play with a fall off radius the fall off radius means how many neighboring CVs are affected uh, by the or vertices are uh, in, affected by that scaling process that soft modi modification process if you set this to 2 the whole object will be affected that means the manipulation will be totally different little effect but some effect stronger effect here let's undo this again and reduce the fall of radius to 0 0.5 so we have a very narrow area of influence here the manipulation goes like this if you use that ramp here let's do one again um, and do something like that you see rings of influences here and it does what you expect it to, it to do that's basically this ramp working and you see the uh, changes in geometry are soft because the lines here are soft let's undo this uh, that's the key Z and change the interpolation of this ramp from smooth to none and now we when we do that we get this strange behavior here because we have um, this odd ramp here the fall off radius with rotation of course it works as well like this but it does work as well with the scaling which is here and the soft selection is here it has the same radius you can uh, do scaling processes like these well that's all i wanted to show you have a nice day and bye bye